Isn't it interesting and exciting to know that God has a plan for your life? That God has a purpose for your life. He says they, there are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. That is awesome. But you and I can pray God's will into our lives. God says, I have the plan. I have the purpose. He says, but I need you to work in accordance with the plan and the purpose. I need you to believe that it's yours. I need you to pray to receive it. I need you to walk in obedience and do what I need you to do to receive the plan, the purpose, and the promise. Do you understand what I'm teaching? Because destiny, it doesn't just happen, all right? You can dream a thing, but it does not necessarily mean that the dream is going to happen. If you're not willing to do the things that God tells you to do, amen? God says, I've got the plan, i got the purpose, but will you do your part? Will you pray? Will you even believe that you can have it, that you can live this kind of life, that you can have this sort of blessing by faith or luck? Things, a lot of people are fatalists. They just live in the world when I take whatever happens, all right? Whatever hand is dealt to me, that's the hand I'm going to play, not me, all right? Your destiny is determined by God. God is sovereign. He's in control. Things don't just happen ha uh, hazardly, but we serve a God who orchestrates, and we serve a God who is, who is, who is in control and who plans and purposes and predestined things, amen? Jesus, but it's up to you and I to be the mind part. Say determined. God does the determine, all right? He determines. He predestines a thing. But it's up for you to mind. It's up for you to, to dig it out. It's up for you to bring it out. It's up to you to believe God for it. Just like mountains, all right? There's some mountains that have gold in them, all right? The gold is in the mountain, but somebody got to dig it up. I'm here to preach that in your human existence, in your mountain existence, there's gold inside of you. Right? The endless possibilities inside of you. Greatness is inside you. Look at your neighbor tell them greatness inside of you. But you know what? It's like a gold mine. You got to dig it out. You got to find where it is, and you got to dig it out, and you got to stick with it. And you have to believe God for it. If you receive that, give God a mighty praise in this place. All right? Determine. God be mine. Determine. We have to do the mining part. You can change your destiny, and it all begins in prayer. You and I have to learn how to pray more. We simply have not because we what? Ask not. Okay? Let's deal with the first principle. Say, devote yourself. To prayer. Say it one more time. Devote yourself to prayer. If you look at the verse, Colossians 4 and 2, the King James Version, but the New American Standard Bible says, Devote yourselves to prayer. Say devote again. The word devote actually means to persist, okay? It means to give constant attention to, to give unremitting care. To preserve, or preserve, to be in constant readiness for, or to endure in. Okay? Devoted also means to adhere firmly to. Devotion means it's stuck like glue. Put that in your notes, fill in that blank. You are stuck like glue to the object of your devotion. Which simply means this. Come up here, let me explain. If I'm praying for my child to be healed, until I get that manifestation, until my child is healed, guess what? I'm going to be stuck to that prayer like glue. If I'm believing God for a financial breakthrough, I'm going to be stuck to that prayer until I get financial breakthrough in my life. I'm going to be relentless. I'm going to pray and pray and pray. Amen? Right? And I'm not going to let anything come between me and what I am devoted towards. Okay? That's somebody who is devoted in prayer. You don't let anything come between you and your devotion. Is there anybody here that has a time of prayer devotion with the Lord? There's a set time that you get along with God, and when people come and distract you, it upsets you. That's how you know you're devoted when somebody comes in, they talking all loud and everything, and, you know, they knocking on the is my prayer time. You get upset. How dare you ask me to do something during my prayer time? This is time that I get along with just me and the Lord. That's how devoted you ought 
to be when it comes to prayer. All right? Devotion means it's, 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 if somebody tries to separate between, uh, uh, come between you and what you're praying for or your prayer time, it ought to be like separating two pieces of paper that have been glued together. Say amen. Well, amen. 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 